I found some extreme comments here. I never see these kind of comments under Vegan Cheetah's videos. Yeah, this looks like a comment towards Freely, but it's not. Yeah, right here tells you it's not Freely or anybody big. Let's see, this shit is a mirror thing. Yeah, that could be a lot of people. But then another comment here. Yeah, that's the extreme one there. And if we zoom out a little bit, we see he's talking to someone named Gary. Let's zoom out a little more. Let's see here. where this comment was and what it was referring to. Let's see here. Do you know this guy? Those are some of the worst comments I've ever seen. And they were all under one video. It was my video. So according to these comments, looks like the worst vegan on YouTube is Gary High Fruit Carburetor. You'd think I would be more popular. Yeah, the person said, it's, it's a good thing that I'm not more popular. Otherwise, I'd be making vegans look bad. It's a good thing that the popular ones are freely. A person who, who said something that caused a whole bunch of people to say, and continue to say after like two years, people are still saying that she said that meat eaters should be killed. And thank God we've got vegan gains who a lot of people think is a psychopath. And there's actually some good reason for that, because he actually said that he would kill specific people. Like I usually don't have a huge issue with people I make videos about, but uh, yeah, if I had the opportunity, I'd kill him. Slit his fucking throat with this knife. Really like to use this knife on him. And then we have Vegan Cheetah, who points out all of the negative things about popular YouTubers. It's a good thing I'm not one of those people, otherwise he, he, he would be all over me. But instead he just attacks other people and he exaggerates. Meanwhile, he is an ex-con who's actually continuing to actually commit these crimes. This is amazing. Or is something else going on? I don't know about that. I could make a full video about that, but you know, I don't do that anymore. So here is the video that I made that got so much hate. It's called Undercarbed Hurricane Victim Curses Out a CNN Reporter, which did happen. I, I'm not even sure why I got the hate, because they didn't say the truth about carbs. See, the video was about carbs. This video didn't hurt anybody. I was just showing that your diet can affect the way you react to life in a way that's more strong than you would think. Now, if anybody has a guess or any criticisms of the video, let me know what they are. And just a couple days ago, Durian Ryder watched this video and left two comments. He's, he's with me all the way, as you can see here. Now, if I got his support... <laughs> a little more on Freely. So for the last few days now, Freely has been losing subscribers. And I caught wind of this in the comments below a specific video. Here you can see them. And it's because she collaborated with a guy, a popular guy named Onision. Now, Freely is known for hooking up with famous people to make her more famous. Well, here she was taking a big chance and messing up her reputation. You know, just like Vegan Cheetah, it seems. She also doesn't care what she does to get attention. Onision is a, a major jerk, see. And a, and a good person would not want to be associated with him. Onision says he's going vegan. Well, actually, I wouldn't want this guy in my community. I don't want him being a spokesperson for the vegan diet and have that being associated with all the negative things he's doing on his channel. Wouldn't he be making veganism look bad? Where I heard that somewhere. Who was accused of doing that? Are vegans this desperate for attention, getting out the message, that we'll do this kind of stuff? Can't we do better than this? I say yes, we can do better. Everyone watching here can do better and start promoting and talking about the people that you think should be representing veganism. 
Now that was the end of my video until something just happened here. Vegan Cheetah has put up two videos. I just got notified of the second one and then realized what he's talking about. I don't want to use certain words here to pollute my channel, but you can see right here some kind of uh, sleazy activities going on on you now. A live website. That's the kind of thing that is bound to happen on live sites. Of course, he's saying it's you now's fault, and which is not really. It's up to the viewers to report that kind of stuff instead of making a video about it where he proceeded to show these underage people in his video. It looks like he has found a new topic for drama. And all I ask of him is that he removed the word vegan from his name. Now we have another reason for him to do that. I hope this is not where the community is headed. It's very interesting that just in a recent video of mine, I accused Vegan Tita of, I forget the words I used, it's well documented that Vegan Tita has a young audience, lots of underage, and he's uh, corrupting those people in certain ways. So I wasn't thinking about this, but now that Vegan Tita brings it up, this could be more projection, and it's just like what Trump does. We've noticed that every, almost every criticism Trump has of other people is what it turns out he's guilty of to a huge degree. Huge. And I left a comment on his video there. I got in early. It might get a lot of attention. It may not stay up long. And uh, with all this crap going on here, I'd like to reiterate that you should not support these channels. Do not watch any of these people's videos. The only way to fight these people online corrupting our community, the only way to get rid of them is to ignore them. See, they may not go away, but the less we talk about it, the more they leave the consciousness of most of the people in the community. We give them that attention. It's not whether they're there or not. It's whether everyone's talking about them or not. And everyone's talking about vegan Gina. We have to make him irrelevant. A hurricane. We've had to rescue a lot of my family. I'm going to go get family members whose houses have been flooded. These monster storms are not normal, and they wouldn't be happening if everyone on the planet ate like Christina and I do. Popular YouTube star Eugenia. I die in like half my dreams. It can be a very difficult and frustrating condition to treat. This is why I was fearing coming here. I, I, I can't do this. Professional standpoint, she needs help. This is Gary, the Carburetor. I am here to save the world with your help.